Is it a good thing that they've that you're having such a tough choice here, or is it I mean, is it concerning that neither has separated them? No, I think it's a, exactly where we want it. We wanted to we wanted to bring guys into the program to make it extremely competitive. Uh, we wanted to put pressure on people to improve, and uh, that's what's occurred. Uh, we've, I think Mark has improved immensely. Uh, he looks nothing like he did last year, which is great. And then obviously Michael is a really good player, and uh, it's very extremely competitive right now. And just like I said, it's stressful. It's, it's, it's exactly what you want. It's exactly the type of environment. I think it's made our room better. And uh, at the end of the day, whoever we decide to name, we're going to need two or three quarterbacks. You always do. I mean, you're, you're a stone away from being um, the next guy up, and that third better be ready to go because you're, you're a play away then again. So it's the most unique position in football. You know, there's only one ball. Most of the time, there's only one quarterback. Some people play two. Uh, but uh, that's just the nature of the beast. You're going to address five practice. running backs this year? You see that? Um, <laughs> Yes, you could, uh, uh Trey, like JC, Joel, Trey, JC, Joel, Marshawn, Shy, Trayvon, you can conceivably dress six. Uh, and that will make some decisions on those guys. Uh, now I know as soon as I say that, all of our fans will melt down the message boards about the fact we're playing six tailbacks. Okay, and that's. That's not that may be the case, may not be the case. Uh, we're gonna have a each guy has kind of has a <laughs> unique skill set, and um, there's ways if we do play Trayvon that we want to get him the ball. There's ways that if you know if Shaw plays, we want to get him the ball. And uh, I think we got to go into each game and, and figure out what each guy does well and things like that. So we're not going to come out of the William Mary game or come out of the Ohio State game and say only these two guys have played and they played every snap in the game. I'm sorry, but we're going to get other guys in the game. Some guys are better on third down. Some guys are better at running pass routes than other guys. Some guys you trust more in protection than other guys. Um, you know, so we want to do each, what each guy does well. But yes, to, I know the big question we're going to have it narrow down as far as who our, our primary ball carriers are. But there's other guys that we want to get involved in different ways as well uh, as we go week to week. Your depth at the tackle position, is there anybody that you feel confident in at this point? Uh, I really feel confident in, in Lawrence and John. <laughs> and uh, the young guys are getting reps during this season. There's going to be times when somebody's going to have to step up and, and they're getting challenged every day. When you go against Daddy and uh, some of those guys out there, Corey, and, and it, it's, it's a challenge. And, uh, the kids are getting reps. They're getting a lot of work, which is good for them. I myself would prefer to have the continuity, having five guys in there all the time. But uh, it, it's going good. Schumann was kind of a guy that I might be wrong. He could play right or left, yes, and maybe be next man up. Are you preparing somebody to be the next tackle up, or is it going to be that's a work, right? That's a work in progress right now. And uh, there's a few guys. Wade Hanson coming over from defenses. He's really done a great job. He's worked hard. Uh, Parker Ostrolo, uh, the freshman, uh, um, Doug Dynasty, Cole Pettit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> those, those kids are, they, you know, they're scrappy kids and working hard and they're doing a good job. Does he like that nickname, Doug Dynasty? Well, he's got a long beard like those boys, he might as well. <laughs> you said you're, you're just going along with where you should be in the rehab process right now. Where are you in that rehab process? What does that entail at this point for you? Uh, I, I wouldn't really say it's a specific point, but, uh, you know, coming off of the injury, you don't want to stop the rehab process. You don't want to just be satisfied with where you are. You just want to continue, just continue to get it strong and continue to strengthen it up. So I'm glad to say something this point. So. Have you taken some hits in these scrimmages? Do you feel like comfortable with just taking a hit again and, and those sorts of things? Do you feel yeah, like most definitely, most definitely yeah. uh, going going against our defense, you're going to take hits. You're going to take lots of hits. So I mean, you know, uh, it was definitely it was definitely good. I was happy to get out there last scrimmage and just get hit and get back up and get hit and get back up again. So you know, it definitely it definitely was a little comfort. Coach Beamer was saying he thinks you're still a little gimpy at times on the leg. Do you feel that at all? Do you feel like there's yeah, still yeah. a little something there? Yeah, it's a little early. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, at times I guess you could say it is a little gimpy or whatever, but uh, as a whole, I think I think I'm closer to the ready side than not being ready. You know. Physically, do you feel like you can play at this point? I believe so. I mean, uh, taking a few shots in practice from from these guys, and you know, it's, it's a little different. Um, you, know, you guys are a lot bigger than these high school kids, but uh, I think I can hold my own. You just basically ran over the high school kids. It looked like from your highlight film, you just like jump into them on a, on a run like that. And you can't do that at this level, I would assume. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm going to be getting out of bounds a lot more and uh, probably you know, sliding a little bit more.